Guess who forgot to unmute their microphone? It was me. I started talking. My thing is acting weird. My overlay is acting weird, but it's fine. Hi guys, welcome. Just wanted to say a quick hello before we dove into the whole, uh, you know, doodly doodle doodle bit. But hello, welcome. No video games today. I'm also trying a new position for my microphone so I don't peek as much. So let me know if I sound okay. I did some sound tests and they seemed all right, but yeah, you know, you never know. Hoi hoi, my favorite butterfly overlord. Hello, darling. How are you today, friendo? I saw the art for your uh, Hidigan concept you were sharing around. That looked cool as fuck. And tell me about it later. I think I'm all set. I've got some fun lo-fi background music for when I start drawing. Woo. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anything important I need to talk about? I mean, other than the major community post that I posted about the fact of, like, so we're going to have to redo a large chunk of the Drumtalia Let's Play because I lost all the footage for it. Ugh. Well, not all of it. I lost, like, two and a half hours of the footage because YouTube sucks. So that's going to be fun. And I technically actually have to go through it all over again <laughs> because I didn't put any safety saves in my thing because I didn't think I'd have to do that. Because I actually expected YouTube to work properly. That was my fault. Hey, Tema. Hello, Pearl. Welcome, welcome. I'll DM you about it, even though it's literally a deprivation dream idea. Dude, I was literally talking to Gaysun last night about the weird-ass deprivation dream Talia X personal OC. Uh, one of my one of my fave boy OCs interacting with things, and it it's a big old mess. You don't, 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 don't even talk shit about yourself. It's fine. It happens all the time. It does. I was so sad about that. Yeah, I know, all right? So, yeah, I had to fucking redo all that. But, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. But, yeah, we're going to get to art streaming. I've got an art piece I need to do for a uh, thing. That's technically due tomorrow. I haven't had time to work on it. <laughs> And thus, here we are. <laughs> I'm, as I said in the description, I am Mick jokingly holding myself hostage until I get it done. <laughs> because I uh, have been unable to do that. But hold on, let me open. Yes, I know the National Weather Service is doing surveys because of last night's weather. That's nice. One more. Okay, hold on. I gotta pull the video up on my phone because my my media bang is full screened. <laughs> there we go. Now I can see chat on my phone. There we go. You guys are pulled up right next to me now. I can see you. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's seven people watching right now. Holy shit, guys. God damn. I ain't never seen that many people before for a doodle stream. Thank you. Oh my god. All right, let's. Oh, I need to make this thicker. I'm not used to drawing this big. I got a new tablet literally this week on Monday because uh, my old tablet fucking. It's not that. It's not even that it even it died. It's just. I had been fighting it for so long to work properly, and then I just got tired of having to do that. So I finally got a new tablet, so I'm a little still figuring out how the fuck to get this thing to work. <coughs> <coughs> do I sound okay? Is the music too loud? Please let me know. Is the music working? I tested everything out, so it should be, but you know, I just want to be sure because I... I literally realized today that so my starting soon screen is supposed to loop the audio. Apparently the audio was not looping, which makes me feel extra bad yesterday because we like sat on that screen a lot. So it was probably dead silent for a lot of it. And now I feel really badly. 
I feel awful because it's like, ah, man. <sighs> Woo, we're on the phone. You are. You are on my phone. Everything sounds great on my end. Hell yes. I'm gonna minimize these. I'm gonna put my music on because I'm listening. I'm listening to YouTube documentaries, which I cannot play out loud because, you know, obvious copyright reasons. So you guys get lo-fi mashups while I listen to other things. Uh, everything sounds great. Hi, hi. Hi, Zamo. Hi, uh, saw you post the link and I'm relaxing right now, so I'm gonna hang here for a bit. Hi, Air. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see y'all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are y'all tonight? Have you taken your meds? Have you been drinking water? Everybody taking, taking it easy? I hope so. I know it's Friday. Yeah, no, I don't like this post. I'm going to go find one of my reference posts because I'm, I am not used, I'm gonna do some warm up sketches. You know what, that's also something I need to do. What's the documentary about? Oh, it's from this channel I watch called Spaceman Scott, and it's about one of his favorite YouTubers currently, or one of his favorite YouTubers growing up, and it's about the one guy who, uh, hold on. I can't remember his name, but essentially it's, uh, the title is My Favorite YouTuber is a Murderer. And it's about how one of his childhood, uh, favorite YouTubers is currently on trial for murder. And how to deal, how do you deal with that emotionally when something like, you know, when a, a creator that you've put your trust into suddenly turns out to be, you know, that. Which I think is really interesting. I found his channel through his video about uh, Markiplier, uh, Welcome to the Game and the Ethics of- Oh shit, I've seen that one. Yeah! My favorite video from his channel currently is called Markiplier, Welcome to the Game and the Ethics of Developer Trolling, which is about how, like, uh, Welcome to the Game and the creator of Welcome to the Game had this, like, couple of weird events where he would, like, go into people's games and troll them. And like the, it, it was discussing about ethics in video games and like how much control should a developer have over the player's game experience and like, should they have any control over the player's game experience? Like, should you be able to do that as someone as a, like, as a game developer? And I just think it's really interesting. But I needed a warm up, so I'm gonna do some circles and then I'll, uh, if you guys want, I am down to, I am open to some quick little sketches of anyone in particular that you find interesting. Oh, I've seen the thumbnail of that document. Oh, it's super good. I recommend it. It is one of my favorite bits where it's just like, uh, talking about like the surface level thing with Markiplier and then it's like, surprise twist. This was actually, this wasn't to talk about the freaking like, the drama at all. It was just talk. Just this video was made to just talk about ethics and player experience. Also, I've seen the Welcome to the Game video one. It's very interesting. Same. I really think it's interesting. Warming up my wrist. Remember, it's always important to warm up. I say this as someone who constantly forgets. You can tell. Like that's not very obvious. Uh, you can tell I'm still learning how to use this tablet, so I'm sorry. Probably looks goofy as shit. I never warm up when I should. Same. I have a consistent problem with remembering to warm up. Me in a nutshell, to be honest. I always forget to warm up. Well, here's your PSA to remember to warm up when you're drawing. It's important. Feeling good with that new tablet, hun? Uh, I'm still learning how to use it, <laughs> TBH. I'm still getting used to it. I'm also just not used to pen pressure 
and I cannot remember how to turn it off. <laughs> ah, no, stop, no, quit. As you can tell with me hitting buttons that I'm not supposed to. But I do like it. I, nice, I like having a wireless tablet again, so I'm not like having to juggle like three different cords. <sighs> so I appreciate that. Having a wireless tablet again is very freeing. Hello, I like drawing berries when I warm up because a lot of them are either circular, either a circle or many of them. Good idea, Jez. Also, welcome. Hello. How are you today? How are you all? Uh, I forget how this banana boy looks. You know, you'd think I'd remember, but I don't. Banana boy with his fucking banana hair. Honestly, I miss pen pressure. Like, it feels more natural. There you go. Have a little shitty Russia sketch. Everything I draw is tilted. I always have to turn it. There we go. There we go. I like the idea that Russia has monkey ears. Because, like, there's two types of ears. There's the ones that are, like, pointed forward or, like, pushed back. I like the idea that Russia's ears stick out the side of his head. Makes him look silly as a child. I need my pen pressure. That's valid, dude. I'm not used to using pen pressure. I'm used to every mark, no matter how my pressure, being the same. But that's also just because uh, I have I am chronically heavy-handed, so I don't like using pen pressure because for a while my pen pressure would always come out the same. But with this one, I'm having the problem of it coming out too light because I'm still learning how this tablet works, and I don't want to scrape it up too much. I'm not at 100%, but I'm going to go talk to people who are going to help me find a job that I like. Hell yeah, Jeno. I'm probably going to skip class tomorrow. Don't skip class. But also, that is um, really good. I hope you find the job. I I'm glad to hear that your fever is going down. I was kind of, I was really worried about you, dude. He's got the monk, he's got the flyaways and the messy hair. Just very small. Stick out ears that get red in the cold. Oh yeah, they get all red. He gets those, r I get that honestly. If I get another apple pen, I'm going to work on not being so hard. Oh yeah, no, it's why I can't do, it's why I suck doing it traditional art in college. It was, uh, it was, uh, not fun. And the teacher consistently complained about how heavy-handed I was, and I'm just like, I don't know how to fix that! I'm still sick, that's why I'm skipping. That's a different- dude. That skipping, like, there's a difference between calling in sick and skipping class. <laughs> Those are two different things. Uh, let's see... First thing that comes to my head, I'm gonna do. He's just a guy. He is just a guy. Russia is very... Oh, I see banana hair. Spain? Nope. Russia. Russia, yes. A little Slavic man with little Slavic plans. The Slavic plans are probably... Uh, I have no idea. What would Russia Slavically plan? I don't make a joke about becoming one with Russia. We're beyond that now. Another the Pienkun Bill's Tart Tarasir. I can't pronounce that. Please ignore me. Or Toto. Ooh, I haven't look I haven't drawn Pienkun before. Russia Uvu, yes. There we go. Hey Tema, any chance 
You found any closed captions? I can't really hear you. Uh, I tried to like turn that stuff on. Apparently, my channel is not eligible for it. But I can try to get close. I can bring my mic a little closer, and I can try to be more enunciated for you. Sorry about that, Mike Ruffle. Is that any better? Sound quality wise, anyway? Do I sound a little bit closer? That's, I think that sounds better. I can hear you better, too. Okay, sweet. You sounded fine before, but you sound louder for sure. Okay. My apologies. Okay. Okay. I can back my mic off a little bit more if I'm too loud. I honestly, I put it a little bit away because last time I was having troubles with peaking my mic a lot, so I wanted to back it up a little bit to... Goddamn, trying to find references for Philippines canon art is so hard because we have like 10 years of non-canon Philippines art. Is Tema answering by speaking after I just said I don't really hear Tema? I mean, in a good way. I phrased it badly. Oh, okay. Ah. Cry. Oh, please don't cry. I can't help. My ears are broken. You're in. Stop that. You do what's comfortable for you as long as a majority of people can hear you, which they can. I appreciate that. I just do. I do want to try and be more. I, I will try to be not less loud, but more enunciated. And that's it. I do wish I had the ability to get closed captions, though. Hopefully I will be in the future. Thanks for trying and looking into it. Of course. everything you can do so don't worry i appreciate it boobs i just wanted to try <laughs> but yes i will do a little pian kun real quick just
There you go. There you go, Air. Have a little PN kun. I'm hard of hearing. You can't help that, Teba. Normally, I'd probably hear you at least a bit, but my ears are having a bad day. Hardly your fault. I'm just... I appreciate it. I just hope that I can uh, figure out what the qualifications are for getting closed captions, because I really would like you to be able to to hear me and be comfortable, because, you know, I, don't, I, I want all my friends to be having fun, you know? Thank you. No problem. A silly creature. Phil's little buddy? Yes, indeed. The little buddy. Look at that little lad. What you drawing today after warm-ups? I'm gonna try to figure out posing and finish an art piece I have for a uh, um, an event I'm part of. I'm trying to draw a royalty kind of a royalty Canada, but I'm having trouble with my posing. So I'm just gonna go hunt down some a random po <gasps> a pose from my uh, stockpile of poses because poses are evil and I hate. Gives Phil's little buddy a raspberry to munch on. Oh, absolutely. Hold on. Let me give him a raspberry real quick. There we go. He munching. There you go. He is now munching on a raspberry. Um, 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 um. Okay. Readjusting my position. Getting comfy in my chair. Ooh, yeah! There's a silly little man himself. For real, I used to be really good at gesture drawing, good at healing my pose drawing skills has deteriorated a lot since secondary school. I think I need to get back to basics. That's completely understandable. I have never quite been the best at posing. It is, uh, it is the crux of my shit. Um, it's the one thing I can't do. I love designing outfits. I love coloring and line arting and everything else. The one thing I struggle with is posing. Look, like, yeah, so you gave him a munchie. Yay. Yes, indeed. I did give him a munchie. You did say you wanted him munching on a raspberry. <sighs> None of these poses spark joy. I like posing and line art. That's fair. I don't know what to do with the arms, because I hate drawing arms. Maybe... know what I'm specifically good at with art. I think color and design are my strongest points in art. 
I also think uh, a strong point in your art is, um, oh, how to, what's the word for it? Uh, I can't remember what the word is, but essentially your art reads really well. Like it, fucking remember the word for it but essentially like when you, like you can tell what a character is thinking just by how you draw them all right i can't i can't do backgrounds damn it sorry damn it i had a really cool idea heck well it's fine. Mm. Yeah, I might do it anyway. I've never been contemplated on that aspect. Thank you. Oh, really? Well, that's a shame, because it's true. Like, your art reads really well. Like, you can feel the horror in your horrific art. You can feel... It, also, your color theory is super, super nice, by the way. You, the way that you do your line art and how everything is colored is incredibly easy on the eyes. And as someone who leans towards more pastel and lighter colored palettes because my eyes are so sensitive, I super appreciate how, art, how super gentle your art is. I'm super bad at uh backgrounds i just like them i was about to say you can tell because when i see your art pearl you say you're bad at them but your backgrounds are incredibly detailed i was about to say for someone who says they're bad at backgrounds you sure do doodle them a lot they're super intricate and detailed Air, your work is just stunning in general. I don't have words to say, but it's something I strive for. I can start talking about, uh, and you say you say that, but your artwork is also stunning, darling. I have seen it. You're fucking so expressive. Oh my god, your art is so goddamn expressive, and freaking, it's just radical. It be radical. I don't know how else to word it. It's just radical. The fucking, like, your, your art is like a bomb that is going off. Because it's just an explosion of color and expressions and movement. It just, it is a slap in the face, but a good slap in the face every time. Uh, what do you think I'm good at? Jeno, you're really good at posing, like you mentioned. I love your poses and expressions. They're super cute. Your, uh, your art is very kawaii style, if that makes any sense. Thank you, Tema. I know, I love knowing what people specifically like in art critique sense, if that makes any sense. Oh, absolutely. It totally makes sense. When it comes to art, the hardest part about it is when you don't get feedback, you don't know what you're good at, and you also don't know what you need to improve on. And I think a consistent problem a lot of these days, people just don't like to voice their opinions on other people's stuff, which kind of makes artists like a struggle because we're like, well, what are we good at? What could we do to do better? I don't know. Eh. Like I have that problem all the time where I'm like, what am I good at? What am well, like? And so I'm always having to self critique a lot of the times. So. Okay. Backgrounds are half and half for me. Either it makes or breaks my art. Can agree, Air. I either do a really good background or I suck. <laughs> There's no, or I just don't do one at all. I don't know how to draw anything that isn't cute, to be honest. That's valid, but I like my art being the way that it is and I'm gonna keep going. Hell yeah, we all about that self-improvement train here. 
finding out what we're good at and what we need to improve on and then doing it is all what being artists. self critiquing is hard because it might take a long time to figure out what's the missing ingredient to make a good art piece into a great one. Oh, absolutely. Self, and also when it comes to artists or any persons, you are your own worst critic. So you'll see like flaws in your work that don't exist. You should totally embrace the cute Geno. Absolutely, they should. It's super adorable. <laughs> I have to go now. All right, Geno. See you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like for me, my conclusion I've come to is that I need to mainly improve on dynamic posing, force shortening, and making a character feel 3D in a 3D environment. Oh gosh, yeah, no, me, me, I suck at making characters feel 3D in a 3D environment. Oh my god, that is one of my, I'm, just, again, like I said, posing is my biggest Achilles heel. Once I get, like, the funniest thing about me is I can get through art super quickly if I know what I want. If I don't, we'll be here forever. switching to my eraser. Is it this button or this button? No. I have no 
idea of what button is causing that. Oh, it might be me hitting this bottom brush. Okay. Maybe. If you want advice for posing, my main one is practicing gesture drawing using reference photos or people doing action things. Not done. I gotta be your B. My headphones are dying. See you later, Tama. Bye, Pearl. Charge them headphones. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that is me accidentally hitting that. In my secondary school for my final art exam, we had to do lots of full body sketches of classmates doing poses in less than 10 to 15 minutes and I found it really improved my anatomy and posing. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna definitely, I need to do more full body poses. That's been like something I've been trying to do. But I definitely need to do that. No. I want to do more gesture drawing, but I don't have time. Oh god, mood. I hate... Time is pain. I want to do the, mysteri m the mysterious art thing of sitting around town in my cafe sketching random people. That's a lot of time investment. Oh my god, yeah. Same. It's also the struggle of, like, I am so out of shape and unfamiliar with doing traditional art now. Thomas, this man has the expression of someone I did. With, with a brick in a Walgreens parking lot. I have no idea what you mean, but I... That's nice. <laughs> we have one more sketch and then I'll actually start doing the proper line art and shit, lol. It's Canada. It is Canada, my baby boy.
Look at what YouTube censorship has done to me. LOL. I can feel the essence of my being slipping away with every passing update. Amazing work, by the way. I'd eat your art. Please don't eat my art. It's made of pixels. Pixels are not good for the stomach. I want to bite it. Don't bite it. It's made of pixels. Those aren't good for your stomach. God damn it. I can't draw. Looking good so far. You think so? <sighs> I don't know. It just feels off to me. I don't know what it is yet. Maybe flipping the canvas will help you tell what's up. Oh god, if I flip the canvas, everything goes wrong. <laughs> Artists trying to keep narrative and people munching on their art to express that personal appreciation challenge impossible. I mean, I am also neurodivergent. I just don't do. I. Okay.
All right, just looking at a reference, a random reference. Cause there was something I wanted to do, but I forgot what it was. Also, I like your little speaker butterfly person thing. I forgot what it's called, it's very cute. Oh, my little PNG tuber, thank you. I worked very, I would say I worked very hard on it, but I did this version of it and I was supposed to do like a full body, like actually like proper physically sized one. And I ran out of time and I ran out of energy, so I haven't done it yet. But essentially it's like my kind of Sona energy because I'm going by like, you know, Butterfly Tema. So I am Tema and I am Butterfly. Thus, Cup Pastel Butterfly Lady. Uh, okay, I was trying to remember what kind of code I wanted this to be. Let me just go. What? Hold on, let me pull up my historical reference. There was a freaking one of them that I wanted to do and I can't remember which one it was. Do I have that on this computer? Shit, I don't. It's on my other one. Mm, I'll just bullshit something. It's fine. I'll just bullshit something up. And test deep V. It's also like this. One of those. It's a PNG tuber. Also, that makes sense. I like the the. It gets the idea of your sona across very nicely. Thank you. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, a friend of mine told me they liked all the detail work I did on like the little uh, it, details in the, the clothes. And I was like, yeah, I wanted it to look like it was just kind of shiny from a distance with the little umber effect as well. But I, but like if you zoom in on it, you get to see all the flowers and butterfly motifs that I all did by hand. Because I need to learn how to make brushes, but I don't remember how. I taught myself at one point, and then I forgot. Okay, so let's just doop, doop. Make the little hand, the little hand guy here. Boop, boop, let's just do that. Yeah, hand. Too big. Oh, I think I need to shorten it. Yeah, it needs to be like right here. There we go, because this is hip. This is where the elbow is. There we go. Mm hmm. Hmm. neckline, chest, glutes, body line. I could go like this. And then, then we have this on this side with the fluff on this side. Bring it down here and have some fancy shit going down there. And like that, maybe? Pretty yuck. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, throwing this shit together out of fucking random shit I've looked at online. Erase. Go away. A little PNG, indeed. So put it down like that, and then like that, I'll say. Actually, let me bring this down like that and then I can branch it like that and that'll be interesting and I'll make it similar to this kind of cut here with the slash 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 and then we can have this be a little bit more poof add some more visual interest I gotta head for the evening unfortunately we're joining the rest of the stream thank you see you around there Yeah, 
it like that. I'm gonna give it one more refined sketch to actually because my line is lines are way too scatterbrained right now for that. Okay, so this is, and then I'm gonna like half my line size so I can just give it a really good tidy up. Mm. Switch my thing over. Time to go watch a video about Subnautica. Bye-bye! Anyway, how are you all? Anything you're cur- I'm trying to think of what to talk about. <laughs> I'm gonna be re-pulling up a picture of Canada's hair because for some odd reason I just can't draw it today. Can can. You all been drinking water? Where in the motherfuck is a can all of my Canada reps are wearing hats? Damn it. They draw Canada in so many beanies, but I need to see his hair fully. Oh Another Canada wearing headwear. Okay, well, there we go. There we go. His hair is off. His hat is off. I repeat, his hat is off. I found it, guys. It took me like three minutes, but I found it. He's not wearing a hat. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, I know. Thank you.
excuse me. Me putting a little extra curl in Canada's hair for flavor. Just a smidgen. out his head a little bit. There we go. Hold on, I'm going to be right back. My tablet is acting strange. So I'm gonna switch things, close a couple things, and okay, one second. <laughs> 